current TV here in the city. And my very quick question to you is that uh, today is almost 21 years after June 12 election that uh, you won fire. And you are making the declaration for the first time that I'm hearing that Abiola won Monday. I should have made it to my book. Yes. This but when Abiola was arrested, jailed, you were nowhere to be found. You, the last statement you made was that the election was inconclusive before you disappeared, before you came out and wrote that your book. Wouldn't you have done Nigeria a great job of courage? If you are stuck by the position that Abiola won the election and on that basis disgraced people like Babakida and the other people that you don't want to mention who made it impossible for Nigeria to have democracy for almost 10 years after that. Prof, don't you think you disappointed your nation? Just a minute, sir. Can, can we have a, a couple of questions so it doesn't get so polarized? Okay. I think it's, it's very important. Yeah, I, it is. I, don't want to play, I need to clear my name. It says, uh, All right. As a reformer, reform it and uh, I chicken out when it matters more. No, no, I didn't chicken out. I carry my message back to Nigeria. Carry, and I had never hesitated. And I will give an uh, interview. You say you, re if you, if you can, after this letter, I can give it here. You carry it back to Nigeria. Before I left Nigeria, I gave to IIT. I gave to this day, and they repeat the same thing. Sometimes people don't take in the correct answers. Without this man standing here, they wouldn't have been through 12 election. If I tell you what I did, to make sure that that election took place. You'll be, it is in this book. Sometimes people don't read. People think of money, 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 money in Nigeria. People should not think of theory, things that will work and make our system stable and perform for our people. Let me tell you, first and foremost, the military was divided before June 12th election was conducted. It's a giving fact. If you read forward to my book, Colonel Abubakar Omar, you will know, well, he used to be governor of uh, Kaduna State. He resigned his commission, he believed firmly in uh, Abiola. And he affirmed everything in, in this book. Please, get a copy. You look at it, an annulment. Don't read any other thing. Go straight to annulment. What happened? Let me tell you, the military was divided. Abacha was friend of Babangida, saying it publicly at international level. At some stage, Abacha wanted to have a stint as president of Nigeria. When Babangida wanted to be a hero, that he handed over a reform system that he will be remembered by posterity and the international community. Because observers, he allowed observers all over the world to witness the election. But the only thing which he owed to Abacha, there was a coup of April 1990, which Abacha had to serve his neck. So Abacha wanted to rule. He didn't want the election to go ahead. Now, this is that book. What happened? To make the election not to go ahead, everything was done to condemn the emergence of Abiola as a legitimate candidate of Social Democratic Party. Everything was done. I supervised, my commission supervised the emergence of Abiola in just. But I stood firmly that he emerged according to the rule. When this didn't work, there was a court ruling. Were you aware of that? Yes. June 10, 1993. I was president of the Union in the United States. Okay, listen to me. June 10, 1993, in the night, a court gave decision that the election should not go on on June 12th. That I, I am banned not to conduct the election. Meanwhile, all my colleagues, national commissioners, have gone into the field to supervise the election. What could I do? I was alone. What I did, I decided to attend. When I learned that there was a meeting of the highest ruling organ 
National Defense and Security Council in Asorok on June 11th. The election was to take place June 12th. I wasn't invited. I just said that the meeting was going on. They didn't want pro Abacha group, didn't want me there in the meeting. How would they hold a meeting whether the election will take place or not when the chief electoral officer of the country was not invited? In any case, when I heard of it, I took a risk and invited myself to a gathering of military people. Is it done in Nigeria? I don't know who will do it. I went to that meeting. And that's why, without Babakida, the election couldn't have taken place. What happened? In the meeting there, they asked him, why are you here? I said, I'm here because the election will take place. Court has given a decision that there should be no election. And this is not cannot be because election is tomorrow. Court cannot give a decision two days, uh, uh, just uh, one and a half days to election, that there will be no election. For, and they will observe us all over the world in Nigeria. And in any case, the law that empowered us to conduct election had stated that once a date and time have been fixed for general election in Nigeria, no court can stop us. But after the election, if the election was not held according, in keeping with the law, it could be nullified. So that was position of law. I quoted to the president and his colleagues that the election must take place. And I'm ready. Unless you don't want the election to go on, tell me. Then I know who to tell Nigeria. They are looking upon me. And they know about the rules of the election. And you have assured me you give me a free hand. Are you getting the message? You see, because I don't have time to conclude on, you said you give me a free hand. The election to hold tomorrow. If you don't want it to hold, tell me what I will tell Nigerians. Abacha stood up. He was to go. There was something they passed around in that meeting. Something which the director of information from U.S. Embassy circulated that if that election was postponed, it would be unacceptable to the United States. Because the United States was aware of what was going on. So about the other group said, oh, postpone it for one week. Postpone it. Postpone it. America cannot dictate to us. And I raised my hand. The president, I'm telling you what happened. Those who didn't know about June 12th are talking. I ran. I uh, vanished. So, the president said, have you any, I said, sir, this election was going ahead. This information, this relief from American embassy has nothing to do with election which will come out tomorrow. It has nothing to do with that. And if we postpone it for one week, it will be the worst trip the election in Nigerian history. We will, you postpone it for three months, we will bring another set of ballot papers, another set of arrangements. Everywhere was silent in this interview. So when they looked, there was, Sonica was there, he's still there. I'm mentioning that the present president of Nigeria Senate was there, and the host of others. They said, okay, Papa Gira said, do you think Nigerians will come out tomorrow to vote? And that's where the military will sometimes they can be decisive. Papa Gira alone took that decision, said, go ahead. Go and hold international press conference in their commission. Oh, 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 oh. This man was there, Olu, who was secretary for information. He should tell the, uh, the director with 48 hours to leave Nigeria. Uh, monitor should go uh, around and monitor the election, and that election should go ahead. That's why without Baba Gedan, that's what happened. Can we try about? Oh, okay.